strong. Good morning, Booth Warriors. This is Ella and Jalen, and today is Tuesday, February 22nd, 2022. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence while we reflect on today's activities and focus on demonstrating our best behavior. Please be seated. Remember, warriors, to follow the three W's. Wear your mask, wash your hands with soap, and watch your physical distance. Let's go to these messages. We'll be right back. Students who ride the bus must wear a mask that covers their mouth and nose for the duration of the bus ride. If a student does not comply with this mandate, disciplinary consequences will be issued. World Cup soccer winners for intramurals February 10th, Zara J, Eliza J, Izan C, Rayan S, Spencer X, Ashwin N, AJR, Avery K, Caleb K, Colin H, Ari R, Kieran S, Jaden P, Jacob B, Cody G, Tyler G, and Messiah M. Sixth graders, intramurals will be on Thursday, February 24th. We will be playing soccer. There will not be intramurals if there is rain. It is time to try out for track and field. Get your track and field paperwork from Coach Ashmore or Coach Hazelwood. You must turn in the completed forms by February 28th to Coach Ashmore. You can make your yearbook extra special by adding your name or your names or pictures. The last day to do this is February 28th. Buy it online at jossensyearbooks.com. Warriors, don't forget to use your agenda for your pass when traveling in the hallways. Your agenda should be with you at all times, even when you go to connections. Remember, a warrior is always respectful, responsible of the rules. Don't forget, a warrior is always responsible, respectful, and ready to learn. And now for the character lesson. Good morning, Boost Warriors. This is Lyra and Avery with a few words of wisdom. On February 22, 1732, George Washington, the father of our country, was born. George Washington was a man of character and civility. He was honest, polite, and courteous, human being when he was only 15 years old. He wrote down his personal rules of behavior. This is one of them. Use no reproachful language against anyone, neither curse or rival. In today's language, Mr. Washington might tell us that we should not use our words to hurt, abuse, or curse others. We should value others instead of neglecting. If you have nothing nice to say, don't say it. If you think of someone bad, then keep it to yourself instead of bringing others down, no matter where you are. We know that using bad language at school will get you in trouble whether on campus or not. Think about this. The language you use is a reflection of your character. Respect yourself enough to avoid bad, bad language and be considerate of, of others when speaking to them. With something to think about, this is Avery and Lyra. Make it a great day or not, the, the choice, choice is, is always yours. Weather for Tuesday, February 22nd, 2022. The high for today will be 76 degrees and the low will be 63 degrees, with a 14% chance of rain. There is going to be recess today. Tomorrow there will be a high of 73 degrees and a low of 60 degrees, with a 43% chance of rain. Have a great day, Warriors. Good morning, Booth Warriors. This is Mariano with the lunch for January, February 22nd, 2022. Your entree has a choice of chicken tenders, steak sandwich, or a jammer pack. Your sides are a steamed broccoli, grit tomatoes, and cucumber.
cucumber with light dressing with sliced peaches, seasoned curly fries, or big fresh baked brownie, and the deli choice of milk. Have a great day. Since 1976, every American president has designated February as Black History Month. It is celebrated in February in the United States and Canada, while in Ireland and the United Kingdom, it is observed in October. Black History Month is an annual celebration of achievements by African Americans and a time for recognizing their central role in U.S. history. We hope you enjoy our presentations of African Americans on this Black History Month. According to wikipedia.org, Sojourner Truth, born 1979, died 1883, was an African-American abolitionist and women's rights activist. She was also known to the first black woman to win such a case against a white man when she went to the court to recover her son in 1828. According to History.com, Truth was born as a slave by the name Isabella Bumfrey. She fell in love with another slave named Robert, but later she was forced to marry an enslaved man named Thomas, and had five kids with him. In the early 19th century, Truth escaped to New York with her children. Later on, she sued her owner Dumont because he illegally sold her son Peter and ended up winning the case. She gave her speech, Ain't I a Woman, at the Ohio Women's Rights Convention. Sojourner Truth was known as a symbol of advocate for abolition, temperance, and civil and women's rights in the 17th century.